The space race, a riveting and epical contest, unfolded in the late 1950s, casting the United States and the Soviet Union into a fierce rivalry that would shape the course of history for nearly two decades. This competition transcended national borders, propelling humanity into an era of unprecedented scientific breakthroughs, technological advancements, and audacious feats in space exploration. The space race's ignition point was the launch of Sputnik 1 on October 4, 1957, by the Soviet Union. This metallic sphere, adorned with radio antennae, commenced its orbital journey around Earth, emitting a distinctive beep-beep radio signal that reverberated across the globe. Sputnik's ascent marked a pivotal moment, as it signified humanity's very first foray into the boundless expanse of outer space. The beep-beep became an audible symbol of Soviet space supremacy, sparking both awe and anxiety on the international stage. In response to the Soviet Union's remarkable achievement, the United States was swift to take up the gauntlet. On January 31, 1958, the U.S. launched its inaugural satellite, Explorer 1, into orbit. This momentous event heralded the commencement of an intense and determined contest between the superpowers each vying for supremacy in the realm of space exploration. The apogee of this early phase of the space race arrived on April 12, 1961, when Yuri Gagarin, a courageous Soviet cosmonaut, embarked on a historic voyage into the cosmos aboard the Vostok 1 spacecraft. Gagarin's journey was not just a testament to human ingenuity, but also a testament to human courage, as he became the first human to transcend Earth's atmosphere and witness the majesty of space. His orbital sojourn, although brief, lasting a mere 108 minutes, etched an indelible mark on the annals of space history, inspiring generations with its audacity and pioneering spirit. However, the United States was unwavering in its resolve to close the gap. On May 5, 1961, just weeks after Gagarin's historic flight, American astronaut Alan Shepard took to the skies in the Freedom 7 capsule, becoming the first American in space. While Shepard's journey was suborbital in nature, it signified a monumental leap toward the realization of America's grand ambitions in space exploration. This inaugural flight was a testament to the courage and tenacity of American astronauts, who would soon venture further into the cosmos in pursuit of the stars. The early years of the space race, marked by the historic milestones of Sputnik, Gagarin, and Shepard, set the stage for an era of unparalleled achievement and rivalry. The race to conquer the cosmos was just beginning, and the world watched with bated breath as these two superpowers embarked on a journey that would forever alter the course of human history. In the relentless pursuit of reaching the moon, NASA recognized that embarking on the Apollo missions without comprehensive training and testing would be a perilous endeavor. It was within this context that the Gemini program was conceived and executed, serving as a critical bridge between early space exploration efforts and the monumental Apollo lunar missions. Launched in 1965, the Gemini program derived its name from the constellation Gemini, the twins, symbolizing the pairing of astronauts and the spacecraft. These missions were designed to be a testing ground, a place to refine techniques and develop the skills that would be indispensable for successful lunar expeditions. One of the primary objectives of the Gemini missions was to perfect the art of extravehicular activity, commonly known as spacewalks. Conducted in the vacuum of space, these daring forays required astronauts to leave the safety of their spacecraft and navigate the challenges of weightlessness. These experiences were crucial for astronauts to adapt to the harsh conditions they would encounter during lunar missions. Additionally, the Gemini program focused on mastering the intricate choreography of orbital rendezvous and docking, a skill that would prove vital for the Apollo missions. In 1966, during the Gemini 8 mission, astronaut Neil Armstrong, who would later become the first human to set foot on the lunar surface, performed a daring and successful docking maneuver with an unmanned agent at target vehicle. This achievement marked a pivotal moment in space exploration, as it demonstrated the ability to connect two spacecraft in Earth's orbit, a capability essential for the lunar module's rendezvous with the command module on future Apollo missions. The Gemini program was also instrumental in testing and refining the spacecraft systems and technology that would be used in the Apollo program. 
It served as a proving ground for the reliability of the spacecraft's life support systems, guidance and navigation equipment, and communication systems, critical components of lunar missions. However, the Gemini program was not just about technical achievements. It was a testament to the unyielding spirit of exploration. The astronauts who ventured into space during these missions demonstrated not only remarkable courage, but also the dedication to expanding the boundaries of human knowledge. In essence, the Gemini program was the intermediary step that bridged the gap between mere aspirations and the impending reality of lunar exploration. It laid the foundation for the Apollo missions, imparting the invaluable lessons learned from its trials and triumphs. These lessons included mastering the art of spacewalking, developing proficiency in orbital rendezvous, and refining spacecraft technology, all of which would prove indispensable in the audacious quest to land humans on the moon. The Gemini program was, in essence, the crucible in which the astronauts' metal was tested and their skills honed. It was the stepping stone that allowed NASA and the United States to ascend further into the celestial realm and approach the ultimate goal of lunar exploration, proving that with determination, innovation, and audacity, humanity could indeed reach for the stars. July 20, 1969, was a date etched into the annals of history as the world held its collective breath. On this day, the culmination of years of relentless effort, innovation, and ambition reached its zenith as the Apollo 11 mission made its historic descent to the lunar surface. The lunar module, carrying astronauts Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin, approached the moon's desolate terrain with the hope of fulfilling President Kennedy's audacious goal. As the lunar module, affectionately known as Eagle, touched down on the lunar surface, the tension and anticipation were palpable. Neil Armstrong's famous words, That's one small step for man one giant leap for mankind, reverberated through the void of space as he took his momentous step onto the moon's powdery surface. With those words, Armstrong became the first human to set foot on the lunar landscape, an event witnessed by millions of people around the world. The achievement was nothing short of extraordinary. It was the culmination of years of planning, engineering, and sheer determination. It symbolized humanity's unquenchable thirst for exploration and the indomitable spirit that drives us to push the boundaries of what is possible. The United States had achieved what was once thought to be an insurmountable goal, landing humans on the moon and safely returning them to Earth. The Apollo 11 mission, with its successful lunar landing and the safe return of its crew, stands as an enduring testament to human ingenuity, bravery, and collaboration. It marked a pivotal moment in history one that transcended national borders and united people in their awe of the universe. The iconic image of the American flag planted on the lunar surface served as a symbol of human achievement, a testament to the power of science and technology, and a beacon of hope for future exploration. Following the historic Apollo 11 mission, the space race continued to unfold with a series of successful Apollo missions. Each mission expanded our understanding of the moon, conducted valuable scientific experiments, and further demonstrated the United States' commitment to space exploration. Apollo 13, despite its near disaster with an oxygen tank explosion, demonstrated the resilience and problem-solving capabilities of NASA's astronauts and ground teams. The conclusion of the space race came in 1975 with an event that symbolized a new chapter in space exploration, the Apollo-Soyuz test project. This historic joint mission brought together the United States and the Soviet Union, the two former adversaries in the space race, in an unprecedented act of cooperation. The docking of an American Apollo spacecraft with the Soviet Soyuz spacecraft in Earth's orbit represented the end of the Cold War-driven competition and the beginning of a new era of international cooperation in space. The space race was not merely a chapter in history. It was a testament to the indomitable human spirit and our innate curiosity about the cosmos. It began with the launch of Sputnik 1 and culminated in the historic Apollo 11 moon landing. This era of intense rivalry between the United States and the Soviet Union spurred unparalleled technological advancements, from the development of cutting-edge spacecraft to the miniaturization of computer technology. Furthermore, the legacy of the space race extended far beyond competition. 
It demonstrated the boundless potential of human innovation and international collaboration in the pursuit of common goals. The spirit of unity and exploration that emerged from this period laid the groundwork for the modern space age. International cooperation became the norm, exemplified by projects like the International Space Station, where nations work together in the peaceful exploration of space. In just minutes, we've traversed a pivotal period in human history, one that saw humanity daring to reach for the stars, surmounting challenges, and expanding the boundaries of our knowledge and capabilities. The space race was not merely a race. It was a testament to human ingenuity and our innate drive to explore the cosmos. Its legacy continues to inspire generations as we look forward to future missions to the moon, Mars, and beyond, forging a path toward a future where the possibilities of space exploration are limitless and the boundaries of human achievement are boundless.